Hello, little loves. <laughs> so I am here with baby Nigel, and I am going to lay him down, and we're going to get him dressed. Yes, we are. Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please make sure you do so at this time. And make sure you click the like button, and make sure that you give this... Oh, yeah, the video thumbs up is the same as the like button, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, you guys get the point. <laughs> Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. So, here's, like I said, what we're going to do is I'm going to get him dressed. Try not to stand in the light so much. It's just so bad. I'm always doing that. Like, um, But I kind of can't help myself. So, he is, for those that are new to my channel, he is the Willow Awake. And as you guys know, his brother Noah is the sleep. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to get him. So I'm going to get, yeah, I'm going to get dressed. Yes, I am. No, he's actually just going to put on some, some night clothes. Um, I know a lot of people like to change their baby with hand mitts. And I think that's a cool idea for those, some of those. But I actually, um, like to feel my baby's hands when I pull them through the um onesies so yeah so i'm gonna get him i haven't had much time to really spend with him because i've just been so busy and it's, my schedule has just been crazy for this week so yeah so i hadn't had much time but let me tell you every moment i got i was peeking in and and um Peeking in and and just sneaking cuddles and then I put him down so I didn't really get a chance to write do uh, videos or really change him that much and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so I did notice that um, Claire did put up her the babies, the awake babies, the blank kits. So they're gonna go up for sale tomorrow. Um, so yeah. So, I, you know what? I forget how long they're supposed to be. Maybe like 21 inches or something like that. I don't know. They're a good good length. Um, mine, he is, a, he is a boy. And he is a light biracial baby boy. And he is, uh, he does have the elbow armatures. Which I do like. Um, and so... Like the silicone, it kind of, as you can see, he'll, he'll slowly like move down. But the one thing about clear sculpting is so amazing that even though they're so soft, even if it been in an awkward position, it still look realistic because of the sculpting is so amazing. So, but um, this is a soft silicone, so the the tummy you can you know squish the tummy so. Even though it's not what some people call a squishy tummy, it is squishy. Squishy enough to where he's cuddly in the middle and not hard. Because a lot of babies, they, their limbs are floppy, but this part is, you know, really firm. And um, for me, I like to take a lot of photos. So the posing on the babies um, get limited when the, the mid core is, you know, like that. And I know uh, when I have Bella... You know, I love Bella and everything, but she was a little firmer in the core. And so I was kind of limited on how, you know, I could pose her, but she was still very poseable. Um, but, and then, you know, different babies that I've had, it was a, a little bit firmer sil silicone. That's how it was. But I like all silicone. I like the Ecoflex 20 and I like Ecoflex 30 for my partials. And I like the soft silicone, but my favorite is the soft silicone. So... I'm just going to show a little bit of his flexibility. So he is, you know, soft like this. But as you can see, even with me doing this, he's still, see, I still like a real boy, mommy. And he did, he is a real boy. You know, my babies, they, they turn, they like Pinocchio. They turn into real, real babies after a while. Anyway, let me get him changed. Oh, this is a size one. So he's wearing a, a newborn diaper, but I'm going to put him in a size one. So... I'm just gonna show his uh, show him on his tummy really quick before I do that. So 
that is my little snackapoo on his tummy and he can do cute little poses of course because he is very flexible and I like that so but I love you know like I was telling you guys some people were like oh I'm just afraid of the silicone but the silicone is so resilient um it's not as easily damaged as some people may think um but mainly when you're spending this kind of money on a on a doll you don't want to rough handle it and stuff like that you want to treat it like a real baby and if you do that you should be fine um sorry i get a piece of hair right there so i wanted to get it off oh my gosh i just love the way she painted his back and stuff oh man say mama still is learning and admiring me and my little paint my little paint style i'm not used to this um but anyway this is a size one diaper so like i said i go between the newborns and the size one diapers with him oh well with noah because i've changed on more but they're the same on the, they have the same body different face so a different head um similar almost the same so mine do have the drinking wet um as well if i hadn't mentioned that I don't really use it as much, but I will do it sometime when I'm doing a video. And um, he will sit there and I make it warm. So when he, he wet his diaper, you can actually feel it just like you would a real baby. And you'd be like, uh-oh, I think somebody wet in their diaper. So you kind of get that same scenario going on. He does have a cute bum bum. I forgot to show you that part. But I think I'm sure I showed it in other videos. But yeah, so he has a tongue, he has gums, he has his uvula. So, yeah. Love my, um, love my willows. I am actually going to be right in the mix with you guys tomorrow. I am going to try to go after a girl. I just want, I just got to paint it just to see what it looked like as a girl. I mean, in my paint style. I know Claire painted the other two prototypes or girls, but I just I want to I want to try it in my in my vision of uh, of a girl. But I may not end up with one, and that'll be okay because I have my two twin awake and asleep, so I'll be okay. But I am gonna go after after one, so. Um, it's, I think she's, when she's releasing it, I should be on lunch. <laughs> so it's going to be like, I'm going to have to make sure I'm out and ready and in position because otherwise, by the time I think about it, it'll be gone if I don't, you know, like when I get off, there's no way they're going to, I know they're going to sell out within minutes so um and i'm telling you guys now and i promise you if you think about it and hesitate and wait you're gonna be sorry because i did that before and i was like well i'll just see about this and i'll see about that and all this and stuff and guess what the willow asleep I didn't end up with the first time I did try but I didn't follow the directions so I messed up the second time I wasn't sure and then I kept going back and forth and then when the time came I just missed out so um, I didn't end up with me a, a sleep kit this time I'm gonna just go for it and if I decide that Having three is too much, I'll just sell it. You know what I mean? I'm just, I, yeah. But I know a couple of my friends was like, well, I wasn't sure who I would have to paint it. So they didn't, they didn't go for it. And um, then they regretted it. So I'm just telling you, I go for it. But that's my personal opinion. You don't have to listen to me. 
I know a couple of my friends are probably mad at me right now for even talking about it because I know they're waiting and chopping at the bits. So. And congrats to all the mommies that have their uh, new babies. Um, I have not. I am going to go and look at um, K Times 2 Reborn Nursery. I think that's the name. I want to look at her box opening. Her baby finally made it from um, overseas. I know that feeling. I had to wait for my preemie and it wasn't showing up for a while and that was nerve wracking. And it wasn't nothing on the, the artist but just the way the, the, the mail service worked when you're doing overseas sometimes. And I was just like, oh my God, I was so bummed out. So, but I want to go see her baby because I've seen pictures of her and she looks so cute. I'm like, ah, you go girl. Um, I think she got the Betty, which, you know, as you guys know, I have Betty, um, which is my India, my toddler. Some of you guys may know her as the headless toddler, <laughs> but yeah, this is just water. So, yeah, so I, um, I want to, um, I want to go check out her box opening when I get done here because I know that baby is so cute. So I want to enjoy her baby with her because she looks like she is adorable. Um, but yeah, the, the babies are. It's just exciting to watch people get, get new babies. Just like I, I, t I told my friend, I said, oh my God, I gotta wait to, um, I can't wait to, uh, after 12 come to see who all end up with the, with the Willow babies. So it's a couple of me and my friends that we kind of buy the same kits a lot of times. And so it's always, it's always fun. We all we always like go back and forth waiting on them and I don't know it's just fun when we you know have the same babies but it's also fun when you have you know friends that have a different taste than you and I like that too because it's like there's really no no competition we're not competing because we don't even like the same you know we don't like the same things um the same style of babies I have one friend like that and it's funny because when we do finally like a baby that's alike it's like oh my god I can't believe we like we both like this baby and we kind of laugh about it it's like an inside joke with us so his hair is is like curly and I haven't really did a whole lot with it um I like the way Claire had it in the um, pictures, but I always change my baby's look up a little bit from the way that they come. But I, I've been using that one brush, but I, I thought, let me go back to my toothbrush a little bit for some of the squirrels that I want him to have. I kind of get tired of doing it, the the back. I don't know if you guys. I don't even know if you guys can see what the heck I'm doing. But I'll take pictures. I kind of gave up on doing the back of my baby's hair because they lay on it and it's just gonna get messed up again. So I'm gonna let that dry. I like when it when it dry and it's like. looks so good let me see come here little boy let me see what y'all see I'm sorry I spent all this time playing let me move move in closer so you guys I'm sorry I didn't realize you guys couldn't really see but that's that's his hair I was playing in his little hair and then I'm gonna um like I said I'm gonna turn it this way I'm telling you, these babies are so cute. The awake baby, now I'm telling you, I think the awake baby can definitely be a girl. 
The sleeper, I was more seeing more boy than anything in that one. But the awake, I could I could totally see him with earrings and a headband and <laughs> and see him as as a girl. I know that's bad. But anyway, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. I'll see you in the next video. You ready? Look at him. I'm going to turn that way. I don't want to turn his face and on the wet part. But that is the little guy. Let me see if you guys can see. That's him. That's baby Nigel. Say hey, aunties. Say hey, aunties. Look at that little boy. Ain't he just a gorgeous? Okay. Later, guys.